Personal safety on the job. What do you need to know in order to stay safe while cleaning houses? It's a great question. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training, where we just released a brand new course called How to Ace a Walkthrough. And there are things on the walkthrough that you're going to be looking for that will help keep you safe should you take this job. So check it out at SavvyCleaner.com. All right, on to today's show. There was a, a house cleaner and she wrote into the show and she shared this story. Dear Miss Brown, I had something really, really bad happen. I was in a house that was slated to be a move out clean. And usually that means a vacant house. The occupant was still present as were a few items. I was happily moving a bedroll, a blanket and a couple of backpacks just so I could vacuum when I found a handgun under the backpack. Now I watch TV and I have a wild imagination and I thought it was very careless of them. After all, what if I lost my mind and I decided to shoot her? Or what if I moved it and I accidentally fired it and shot it myself? Well, I picked it up by its tip and I put it back in the backpack and I was horrified. How could a responsible person be so careless? I hope no one else encounters this. Okay, I was horrified when I read that and I found that you picked it up by its tip. Picking up a firearm the proper way is incredibly paramount to the safety of you and the people around you. What I recommend from here on out is that you do take a personal safety course, whether you are a house cleaner of any sort, because you will be in a situation from here through eternity, somewhere along the way where you have to protect yourself and you need situational awareness, okay? So back in my early 20s, I took a personal safety course and I was house cleaning at the time. And the instructor pulled me aside and he said, Angela, your reflexes are good, but they're not fast enough to save your life. And he sent me to another instructor. He had nothing in it. There was nothing in it for him. He made no money or anything, but he sent me to another instructor that specialized in knife and dagger martial arts. And he wanted me to learn to protect myself in the event that there was ever a need to do so, right? But the whole gist of that class was situational awareness. Be aware of what's around you at all times. Be aware of the tools that you have on you and what you can use in case of emergency. And then decide in advance how you're going to respond to a particular situation. And if you ever find yourself in that situation, that or something close will trigger because you've already prepared for it, right? And then you behave in that certain way and you either run to safety or you avoid the situation or because you are aware, you anticipated the situation and you avoided it altogether. So I'm not encouraging you to go out and become like a black belt or whatever and a kung fu artist. What I am encouraging you is to learn personal safety and to learn to handle these types of situations. Even if we are working by ourselves, there is a lot of stuff that happens in a home where you are responsible for the home, the people around you and yourself. And even if you're with another team member inside a home, oftentimes you guys break up and you go to separate parts of the home. So you are again, working by yourself and someone could creep up on you or something. Now it doesn't usually happen, but to be aware is paramount to the success and safety of your business. All right. So there are a couple things that I want to go over real quick, and then I will let you go get your own personal safety. But I'm wearing a tool belt right now of a bunch of really cool cleaning items that can also dub as personal defense weapons if I need them. Okay. So the very first one is my smartphone. Smartphone is tracking me via GPS. And so if for any reason I push the button on my iPhone five times, it calls 911 and 911 will start tracking me via GPS. I don't have to have any audible conversation with them at all. What that means is come help. I'm in emergency. I'm in danger. Okay. Now I can call 911 and I can have a conversation, but if I can't have a conversation, pushing my button five times, will trigger a 911 call and it will also call my two emergency contacts. So if you haven't set up emergency contacts in your phone, you can do that right now under the medical app inside your phone. And so it will call whoever the person is. It could be your spouse. It could be your child. It could be your parent, whomever. Okay. So it calls your two emergency contacts and 911 and they start tracking you via GPS. Awesome tool to have. All right. The next tool is a scraper. Now we use this scraper. This one has two ends. One is a plastic scraper and the other one is a razor. So if I ever find myself in a situation where I need a razor blade to cut, I don't know, maybe my hands are tied or something. I have a tool on me right now that's going to allow me to do that. Also a razor, a very sharp razor 
can do a lot of serious damage if the situation ever presents itself. This is just a regular tool that we use. Again, it has protective coatings on the end so that it's not going to poke us while in our apron, but this carries with us at all times. All right, if I find myself in a bad situation, on me, I also have my mace. Okay, I hope I never have to use it, but I have it with me in the event of. And there's a little hole in my apron where the string hangs through. So all I have to do is take the string, pull on it, or I guess it's a little chain, pull on it, it pulls it right through my apron, and now I'm ready to, to use it, right? So it's very, very easy and very convenient. Another tool that I have on me at all times is a little pair of very, very sharp scissors. And these I use for cleaning the beater brush of the vacuum, okay? So that's, that's what this is designed to do. And if it's right in the bottom, it lays down flat in the bottom of my apron, so it's not poking anything. And if I move around or I bend, it doesn't poke me either. But it's very, very sharp, and it's the reason we carry this, is because if need be, it dubs as a small tool that can do a lot of a lot of damage. Okay, so we have that. And then also I have a screwdriver. The screwdriver gives me a little bit more of a, of a jolt in the event that I have to like bust out a window or something like that. Okay. It's, it's got a very direct pop to it. It's very small. It fits in the palm of my hand and it gives me all of the power I need just using my arm. So it's not big or whatever. And I use it for lots of things on the job, like fixing the, the backs of the toilet seats where the toilet seats have slid off and that, that screw has come undone. It's good for lots of things, but it's also great as a, a small defense weapon should you need it. All right, so those are just a couple of things that I carry with me. And one is that is not a security weapon, but my car key. In the event that I need to run to safety, if I can get out of the house, I can run to my car. At least I have my car key on me. I can jump in the car and I can drive to safety. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to cause harm to anyone else, especially when I'm in someone else's home. Because all of my rights saying, well, you entered my home and my life was threatened and all these things do not apply if I am the stranger in the home. And so the very first thing that I want to do is I want to get out of the home and I want to run to safety if at all possible. And so these little small tools that I carry with me are all designed for cleaning houses. And yet they're all designed to protect me at the same time. So I just want us to be aware and it's being aware of things like, where are the exits behind you? And if you are cleaning and there's a, an open door behind you, do you know what's in that open door? Is there a stairway on the other side? If something happened and you had to get out a fire or something, would you go out the window in front of you? Would you go out the stairway behind you? You need to have these kind of awareness ideas so that you can keep yourself safe under all situations. And you'll find yourself, even in restaurants, when you go into a restaurant where you will sit after you've had training and you sit with your face to the door, not your back to the door, because you don't want anything surprising and creeping up on you. So even today, situational awareness, it's a 360 view to know around you what is there at all times. And that way you have choices and you can remove yourself from a possible dangerous situation and get to safety. Now in the situation where the customer had a firearm, that is their right to have a firearm inside their home. And so as unfortunate as that may be, I don't like the fact that you found it. And I don't like the fact that you had these thoughts going through your head that anything could happen. And so my encouragement is please encourage your homeowners not to have stuff like that. Do not put house cleaners in a situation like that where they have a weird wild thought or a wild imagination. And if you are the house cleaner, I don't want the homeowner to be in that kind of a situation either. So let's make sure that when we have house cleaners come to our house, we don't leave things like that out for anyone to find. Alrighty, I hope that helps a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.